Good morning and welcome back to the Rising Superstream, where technical problems are a thing of the past and nothing bad ever happens. My name is Liam, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> we've been having a bit of a tech disaster that you guys on YouTube didn't have to see. Uh, but now we're just going to play some PS3 shit, because we can. Uh, and we've got some neat stuff lined up. Uh, so we're going to play, right now, uh, Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day, which is a dope-ass game that I've played through before, actually. Uh, so, a uh, little intro to this game, because it's real nifty. It's part of a collection called Short Piece. Um, in Japan, these came on a disc together, Short Piece and Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day. Uh, in North America, as you can see, they were split up into two downloads. So, uh, I've actually never booted up the Short Piece portion of this collection. Uh, but what Short Piece is, it was a uh, Japanese... Um, animator compilation thing where a bunch of uh, animation studios got together and made original uh, animations about Japan and like concepts that they find close to that kind of nationalism and stuff like that. Um, and they, I've seen the trailer for it and they all look really good. Um, but besides the animation anthology, they also decided to make a video game. Uh, so uh, Suda51 worked with Crispies, the guys who made uh, Tokyo Jungle, uh, and they made Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day. Uh, the reason I've played this before is because I imported the uh, Japanese disc back in the day, because uh, I thought, of course, this game is never going to get localized. This was before the era of literally everything gets localized. Um, that was back in the day when stuff didn't get localized. Uh, and sure enough, this got localized. It like took two years or something but uh, it did actually get localized with the anime, too, on top of it. So that, that threw me for a loop. And this came out real late on the PS3. So anyway, we're just going to be playing Renko Tsukigime's Longest Day since Short Piece is a collection of, like, anime movies. Um, I'm sure you can find them online. Or actually, you can buy them on PSN if you've got a PS3. Otherwise, I don't think they're really available anywhere to, to purchase. Like, I don't think you can get them on PSN in general. I think you can only get them like this as a PS3 item. Because this is technically a game, even though it's just a collection of videos. So, so Ranko Tsukigime is Longest Day. Oh, some people have pointed out there is a European disc, actually. So, there's a European disc. <laughs> Which would not be region locked, of course, because PS3 is not region locked, so... Oh yeah, look at that video flicker on the on the uh, feed. Let me just refresh the feed because the Elgato didn't like that. There we go, fixed. Wow, UK Amazon has it for three pounds. Fucking buy your three pound disc. Yes. Oh, yeah, I think I booted this up once in English. So if you've never seen this, this is a pretty neat game. Not a super long game, so we might, we'll probably play through the whole thing, but... The CG actually looks so good in this game. Look,えー、人間よ。おっさんの古傷的なのと一緒に住んなって。でもマジで一体は痛いならカラオケしよう。一気に解決するって。Yo, Kirara, my son, you're 
Yo, everyone in chat calling Renko a Chuni has another thing coming. の名前は月姫ランコ。お察しの通り、全世界の月姫駐車場を牛耳っている月姫財閥のお嬢様。これまでの人生でもう何万回以上月姫車庫って名で呼ばれて、少し前までは殺意を抱いていたけど、ち
さてと行くか So, of course, it is Kozaki, the same artist as Fire Emblem, so stop me if anyone looks familiar. So, again, this, this game was part of the short piece collection, which is about,、uh, I guess, it was the artists making something they felt was. Uh, really Japanese to the core. And so Suda's idea was to go through a bunch of different Japanese feeling game ideas.、Um, that's why we get like a pseudo visual novel section there. There's,、uh, there's a bunch of neat stuff. And the game gets very different and very weird as we move on. So. Yeah, bear in mind this is not an auto runner either. This is just a little tutorial area, so. So, if those things behind you ever catch you, I believe they just kill you instantly. There's not a ton of levels or anything, so I'm not too concerned about this taking a while. Hopefully, we'll do real good. Hopefully, we'll do a new one, no doubt. Play through. Yeah, when you're doing alright, the hands like absolutely never get to catch up to you either.、So. But when we get into the later levels, like the hands are really aggressive. <laughs> There's one level in particular, I'll scream when I hit it. Because I remember dying there like, a bunch of times when I first played this. And by the way, we, we collected a present earlier. There are actually like a ton of presents in this level, and you have to take different routes up and down to try to get them.、Um, and they unlock like artwork and stuff. It's all really nice. I've never actually unlocked all of it. I don't know if I ever will. It's pretty hard to get some of the stuff. Oh, the controls are really tight in this game. Yeah, no, it does feel really good. But this first level is like as tutorial as it gets. I don't think there's a health system. I think it's just, yeah, if you get slowed down too much, the hands get you. Her weapon, by the way, in case you didn't catch it, is a,、um, a violin. What's the thing called? The thing with the horse hair on it that lets you actually make sounds in the violin? The bow. The bow for a violin. I don't think it has a blade on it, but I honestly don't.
but there's a present up there too. I think I would have needed to like totally stop and jump back on that stuff. So the hands were definitely getting way too close to me. I remember watching a video that someone put together of like how to get all the presents and shit, and some of them are incredibly demanding. Which is why I pretty confidently say I don't think I'll ever do it. <laughs> worth whatever asking price it's worth now. I honestly don't know what the asking price for this game is right now. But I do know it goes on sale every now and again. Namco, every, like, couple times a year, they put, like, all their anime games on sale. And I'm pretty sure Ranko always goes on sale at the same time. Oh, I just I thought maybe I could go back to it. I should put it this needs to be a perfect run, guys. After all that shit with Panzer Dragoon. <laughs> what happened with Panzer Dragoon? The um I was having power issues. Where, like, my power was flickering, and we ended up losing about an hour of progress in Panzer Dragoon. So, come back to that another day. They didn't want to redo it right now. <laughs> Just not feeling it, you know? 14 bucks right now? That's how much it's going for? I think, especially bearing in mind it comes with short piece, yes. uh, I think 14 is worth it. Because apparently the short piece animation is really good. To be honest, I don't know why I haven't brought it yet, considering I bought this game like twice. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. It's all in the mind. Yeah, it's super not as culturally relevant as Dinotopia. Yo, when I get that GameCube stuff hooked up though, it's gonna be a really pretty stream. I like how like popping enemies hits nearby enemies too. It's a really satisfying game mechanic. And it lets them like have you continue running straight forward without stopping. If you had to stop and hit every enemy, like that would get a little annoying. Oh my god, 100 percent playthrough is dead. Yeah, this is on Unity. They did a real good job with it. Unity is really limited on PS3. Uh, it always really struggled on PS3. Um, but this doesn't... You don't feel any of the hitches or anything. Like, it actually runs super smoothly. Unity's great. Yeah, I love Unity. I stopped even trying to work in UE4 because I like Unity too much. <laughs> We're gonna hit plot soon, guys. There, there are more cutscenes, actually, so... Oh, 
Oh, the animation at the start, no, that was pre-rendered, totally. Uh, oh, it's a few dollar enemies. Oh, that's actually it. So if you get trapped between those doors, you have to wall jump up and over, and you end up losing a shitload of time, but it's kind of neat when you're the next way. Yeah, I also dig how abstract the levels are. If you just look at the backgrounds and stuff, you can always tell where you are. Previously we were in a bank, this time with a train station. Um, but they look really, I don't know, just abstract and weird. Uh, Hispanic Comida says, like a surrealist world ends with you. Yeah, I totally agree. It's got a really nice feel to it, definitely. And if, uh, if you're getting like budget game vibes from this, that is totally accurate. <laughs> this was never meant to be a standalone piece. It was always supposed to go with the anime collection, so... How long is this game? Uh, maybe two hours? Maybe. When I finish the Japanese version, I do it in one second. So it's not terrible. I always like how she runs into her goal, and there, like the door slammed at the subway station, the um, the stand beeped. I think it's really cute. What kind of music genre would you say is playing in the background? Boy, I'm not a music buff. I can't do that. Not trance. Trance is too slow. God, I don't know. Electronica? Hispanic Comida says experimental drum and bass? Question mark. Maybe. Is experimental a genre? Because then maybe that. <laughs> Air に到着しました. 
Yeah, Suda was the guy in charge for this game, yeah. He was working with, uh, I mentioned earlier, but Crispy's who made Tokyo Jungle. It's not if you've noticed the animation style change. We're onto our third style thus far. And there's still more. この仕事ってさ、集中力使うんだよね。無駄な神経を使わせないでよ。相手が手だれじゃなかったからいいけど。今後は一層の努力をして、ランコ様の任務のサポートに。あ、ごめん、深町。ちょっと静かにしてもら
Ah, I missed my wall jump there, I think, twice. <laughs> I think I'm accidentally hitting platforms when I should be just holding right until I'm sure the wall jump Okay, so Knight's dead. Gonna get day. Oh yeah, so if you miss the sequence level, you totally keep going. Okay, I think we're good. Is this what we can sort of expect from Travis Strikes again? Uh, I think it strikes back, but... Um, Maybe the scope of game, it, well, in regards to the six games that are contained within it, maybe there's kind of scope for each one, perhaps. But definitely seems like it's... No, no, yeah, it seems like just as polished. Maybe don't expect this level of cutscenes, since they actually are doing, like, visual novel text. But... Yeah. Nada. ヘッドショットでしょ。セオリー、顔。シュージョ、無理よ。私に任せて。友達でしょ。ちょっと、もえ子だよね。もえ子だよね。ガイ、うこと。それ何コスプレコスプレなのなのよ。結構複雑なんだ、うちも。まあいいや。説明は後。そんなことより、今はここから逃げなきゃ。あ、ちょっ
Yeah, I have no idea if this game will ever get ported to anything. <laughs> Probably not if I had to guess, honestly. But, it'd be cool. I mean, it's on Unity, so it could it could move around really easily, actually, but... It's so great how she just gets strung along in all this. Like, I love the twist from her being super in control to like, yeah, I have no fucking clue. God, the background's so good here. With this like stylized city that's like monolithic. I love how the dragon has like the little flower and it's on its head too. All the attacks do so much damage. <laughs> Let's try that again. The music's really nice here. Is this trip hop? I'll continue to list genres I don't fully understand. Try to sound knowledgeable. That's how you music nuts do it too. Fair enough. <laughs>
Oh shit. So every phase is pop that. Okay. Where do I shoot now? The wings? Oh yeah, the wings. Yeah, I don't know if this game's OST is ripped anywhere, and that's a huge shame. <laughs> that blew out the speakers in my headphones. Y'all ever see Gallo Sengan? Or Bob Team Epic? It's those animators. あの少女が鍵だというのか。視界文書じゃなくて、ヤクモのマニフェストが実現すると、奴の野望だけは何としてでも阻止せねば、世界は焼かれる。
Yo, the Mount Fuji level though, it's so sick. So yeah, the guys who made Tokyo Jungle trotting out their Pomeranian character model again. As you can see, like right there, losing your momentum can be totally lethal. Like, I almost died. Oh my god, that present is hidden so well. I love all the fucking shitty locks on this thing. Zweihander C says, this is what uncontrolled creative freedom feels like. Yes, it, it is by far Suda's most unhinged game. これから始まる一大復讐活劇。待ち受けるは生涯最大の敵。先に全てのマスクを剥がされた方眼負ける。情けの門が今開いた。押して通れ。月決めランク。人白の炎をまとい。I got gotten. Yeah, it's a point system. Man, this like almost like synthwave music is really good. No, she just took a point away from me. 
I didn't remember that at all. <laughs> oh! Okay, <laughs> King. Hopefully, we'll have it this time. <laughs> Fucking seven fighters at the end there. <laughs> I want him to do the splash, because the splash really opened him up. Man, this is such a trap, this thing here. I think this happened last time too, where I got a little too close. Oh, I think he blocked. <laughs> yeah, he probably blocks if he's not vulnerable for a move, that's probably what it is. Fucking ref grabbed me. <laughs> I didn't even notice her that time. Hopefully I can avoid taking early hits. That flew by me. Such a stupid sequence, this bit. <laughs> Yeah! 
Oh shit! He got up so quickly I wasn't ready. <laughs> that was totally my fault. Oh! I hit by the splash. Man. Man. This last phase is really tough. I think the ref is the worst bit, really, though. Yeah, if you get caught under a platform while he's doing that, I don't know if it's an answer. I think you just have to eat it. So I guess just don't stand under the platforms. I was ready that time. Okay. Okay, we got four hearts. I mean, four Ranko heads. You know what? I might be able to get a hit on him. No. Jesus. Man, I almost had him there. That's a tough one. That's good. Man, we got a lot of new costumes, by the way. I don't remember them at all. We'll definitely check out the extras after this. Got it quintessentially Japanese shot. Like the the Yuriko. the lone cherry blossom and Mount Fuji in the background. Arigato.
こカラオケの時間だよねえねえキララも一緒に行っていいみんなで一緒に行こう。世界の終わりなんて私には関係ない全てはこの瞬間のために生きている意識は街を巡り夜を駆け抜け電磁と電波の波に乗って私はパルスとなりバラバラちりぢりになって空を飛ぶ最強のファイアウォールを突き破り一点だけを目指して偽物の世界を破壊してきた孤独な戦いで世界を取り戻してそこで待ってたのは本当の自分と友達かなあの日に戻って私の日常が帰ってきた。I love this credit sequence, it's actually so nice. I don't know if you caught that. Literally, only two voice actors. One for all the female characters, one for all the male characters. Doing good work. Does this lead into the 3DS game he did? Liberation Maiden? No, no, no. You know Liberation Maiden has a sequel in Japan? On Vita and PS3? Never came out here. Also, it's a visual novel. Yeah, I think it's called Liberation Maiden Sim. Yeah, 
Is Yamaoka part of Grasshopper? You mean the musician? Uh, no, he's not. He's independent. He did music for uh, Murasaki Baby a little while ago. Why did she choke out her three-eyed sister? We don't know the exact reasons, but there was a 50-year time skip, and when Ranko's choking her out, you can see, you only see it briefly, but you can see on Ranko's face that she's all wrinkly and clearly 50 years older. So, we don't really know what the full deal is, but unlocking that gate caused that sister to appear, and something happened over those 50 years that required Ranko to kill the sister to return back to a non-apocalypse time. But we never really get the details on that. Can we just, yeah, just, like, I know I already said I really like this credit sequence, but, like, double shoutouts to how fucking sick this credit sequence is. It's so good. It fits so well, it has its own, uh, its own feeling, I guess. It's like super unique, I've never really seen anything like this for a game. It works well contextually, it's really well cut and edited. It's super good. この戦いは終わらないみたいだけどこの物語は終わるまた繰り返し繰り返し戦ってそして新しい物語が語り継がれるまるで終わることのないゲームみたいに And that's actually it. That's Renko Tsukihime's Longest Day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm glad that everyone in the chat seems to have never seen this game before. Because it's a, it's a really dope ass time. We did unlock some stuff, so let's go see the unlockables. Because I don't, I don't really remember what they are at all. Uh, it's really neat. It's very clear he was pretty much able to do whatever the fuck he wanted. And I think he did a really good job with a limited budget. Granted... The most interesting parts of the game are probably the cutscenes, ironically. The, the, the gameplay itself is fine. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, like, it's passable, I guess. But the cutscenes are where it really, really gets fun. It really gets exciting. Like, again, since, uh, since the game's so brief, they make every cutscene a big set piece, basically. So, yeah. Also, the trophy icons, I remember them being gorgeous. So, stage select, I think there were, what, eight? Eight stages or something? I'm not actually gonna pick one right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, actually, shit. Oh, Masked Man is the wrestling match, so nine and nine in the wrestling match. I really like the, the night and day stage. I always thought that was really fun. Is there a time attack mode? I think stage select is the best it gets. I don't think there's like a full game time attack, though. They'd be cool if there was like a full game time attack that cut out the cutscenes just so you'd play through quickly. Uh, gameplay statistics, I don't think there's anything interesting in here. No. Yeah, just fastest time through X level. Oh yeah, someone could totally rip the soundtrack. Nice.
Yeah, so see, you have to collect the, the chunks of concept art. Fuck, that's what it was. That was why I never unlocked anything in the Japanese version. We got this. We unlocked this. This is what we got. I'm so close to unlocking a bunch of them, but I need more chunks. And costumes. Dress, uniform, Moiko's uniform, Kirara, Moiko's suit, and Ranko's suit. Oh shit, can we play with Moiko's suit? That's cool, that's cool if they actually made those. Boy, this load. What the heck? Yeah, those aren't the puzzle pieces I always wanted. Those are worse. You don't get to assemble them. If you got to assemble them, at least, that'd be enjoyable. Yeah, sorry about all the technical issues earlier with the Xbox and the GameCube, but... Hey, in the end, this was probably for the better. I should get an SSD for my PS3, it's true. Never really occurred to me. Yeah, I do have the costume on. It's like zoomed out as fuck so I can barely tell, but it is there. And it's Ranko too, you're not playing as her friend. Like you can see she has her black hair and everything. Yeah, we never did get to see this. It's not that exciting. <laughs> oh, SSD is not a thing that works with PS3? Uh, okay, well, never mind. It never ever occurred to me to get an SSD, like even the idea of getting an SSD for a PS3, because at the time the PS3 was relevant, getting an SSD was like not possible. <laughs> not one of any size that was worthwhile for any price that was possible. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the stream there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully, not hopefully, we will swing back around for Panzer Dragoon Orda at some point, maybe tomorrow. I'm not quite sure when. Uh, that was unfortunate what happened, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, shout outs today to Tall Pixels, Crazy Rainbows, Apocalypse Pony, Shagahod 124, Galley Freeman, Dr. Glendale, and Metroid Zard for their subscriptions. Uh, and shout outs also to Iron Aggro, who donated, he donated to me yesterday during the stream on Matt's channel that I was participating in, which was super nice of him, because my channel wasn't even live, and he clicked all the way over to get to my channel and then donated there, which is really, that's high, that's high level stuff. Um, so shout out to Iron Aggro for his donation. He says, I'm not able to make it to most streams live, but I watch as much of your content as I can, so I'm glad to finally be able to give something back. Thank you. You're very welcome, dude, and thank you for putting in the work on that one. Because that was super nice of you. Uh, again, this was Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day. It's a really cool game. This is a game that is aesthetically interesting. It makes you think fun things. It is good for brain. <laughs> is it a great game? I don't know. I, I you know, I'm not going to fight anyone who scores this low. I think it has like a 60 on Metacritic or something. It didn't exactly, it wasn't exactly a hit. And admittedly, if you were buying the original... Uh, $60 release or the 88,000 yen release in Japan um, if you were buying it just for this game you were probably spending too much on this game um, again the original release uh, did come with let me just scroll over to it where are you at it did come with short piece and if you buy this on PSN in North America uh, you do get the short piece application which Heck, I can boot that up real quick. I can't play any of them because I'll be in copyright hell. Uh, but you can see the menu. You can see what's... I'll show you at least what's in short piece. Um, so these two come together. Uh, Zweihander Steve says it's $19.99 on PSN. And some people earlier said it was £3 in the UK. You could buy a physical copy for. 
which is pretty dope. No physical copy in uh, North America, by the way. Oh, wait, no, don't automatic update. To use this feature, automatic update, what feature? Okay, well, okay. All right. Uh, no, but I have to use it. Oh, okay, well, we'll... <laughs> I've never seen a game demand automatic update. Never, ever, ever. When's the Switch version? Ask Suda. There's a short piece. Subtitle language. Look, you got your e-figs. Actually, that's not e-figs at all. That's a lie. Oh, and this just plays. Okay, I see. I believe it's a collection of five short animations. Uh, I don't know if there's any other options. I guess it just plays. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I thought there would be a menu and a selector and everything. But it's, uh, I believe, five animations made by uh, different praised known Japanese creators. Um, it's supposed to be really cool. I have not actually watched the whole thing. Um, and... From what I know, Suda's is by far the wackiest, and the ones in Short Piece are a lot more serious. And again, the theme is Japan. Uh, that was the whole theme of the Short Piece project. Really, really neat stuff. So, so yeah. Anyway, I'm off for the evening. Uh, again, glad you guys had a good time. I will see you around. Uh, have a good day. What time is it? 3 o'clock. Go make dinner. If you prep dinner early, you'll have a full evening for yourself, so... Make the most of it. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.